Hey everybody. Hey, somebody asked me the other day how to make an outline over objects, not just text, but images. And I haven't done a tutorial in, in a long time, so I wanted to show you how to make an outline over images. Like, for example, let's say you wanted an outline over a graphic like, I don't know, um, okay, like this. Let's bring this guy down. Now, he doesn't have an outline. So up here under the edit menu, I want to choose duplicate selected element. And it duplicates it. The one behind, we're gonna click on, we're gonna go to color, colorize, and make it black. And then the opacity is kinda halfway right now. We wanna go all the way, make it black. And now we're gonna click on this front image, return to image menu, image format, and we're gonna scale it. So, so here's a trick that very few people know. If I tap this scale slider, I can now use my arrow keys and incrementally increase the size of the image. So I'm gonna hit the down arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. And notice it makes it a little bit smaller. Now I can bring it here and position it like I want. And there's a pretty good outline. There we go, kind of cool. And it works for any any image, really. So let's delete these guys. And let's do, uh, I don't know, like the spheres, the orbs. And let's say we want to make a watermark for YouTube. So find something like, uh, I don't know, like this guy. Bring him down, okay. And he's kind of small, so I'm going to increase the size a little bit. I'm going to duplicate him off to the side click the bottom bottom one uh, colorize this guy here all the way up and black and then tap on him image format tap the scale slider and go down about four or five one two three four five bring it over and there's my outline over this over the sphere and now of course I can put an outline over my text, this is my watermark. Bring him down, change my font to something cool. Okay, now I wanna go to the menu and we can do a couple of things. I can click the color bar, the color dropper picker here and select yellow. And maybe my outline will be as black as the outline on the orb. Now let's make it a little thicker. That's a little hard to read, so I like to go white. That's kind of cool. There. Now, if I export this, export as a transparent PNG. Okay, here he is on my desktop. You can save it wherever you want. And if I make a new canvas, and if I import this new watermark with my cool outlines, import. And now I can do a few things like shrink it down because he's way too big and even spin it a little bit. Now I'm also going to bring the uh, image opacity down so it's a little bit transparent. And I'm going to make sure the canvas is pretty close to cropping the whole image. And when I export him another time, and now you can use your watermark, your faded watermark with the nice outline. Uh, this is Photoshop. Um, I'm making a graphic, but if I take my uh, transparent watermark here and bring it onto Photoshop, you'll notice that when I set the opacity in the logo and the in the creator, uh, the opacity is also faded here, but it's easier to see because I have an outline over everything. Um, and you can put this on YouTube wa uh, videos or whatever you need watermarks for. You can put it over graphics, um, you know, like that, but makes everything hard to see, but I like to put watermarks, you know, in the corner or something, but it's faded and it doesn't intrude upon the, uh, the graphic. So there you go. Hope this was a cool tutorial for you.